Good morning, Hickory Grove. We hope you are doing fabulous. It is a beautiful day outside. It is the day we have all been pushing for for the last four weeks, mm -hmm. and that is spring break. Yay. We also have Easter coming up, and so we're excited about that holiday. I uh, hope you're making time to celebrate together as a family the life, death, and resurrection mm -hmm. of the Lord. Um, we have chapel today from 12 to 1, so students, please tune in. Parents, you're welcome to tune in. The uh, YouTube link will also be on this newsletter, so you can click actually right below this, and you'll see the video for chapel. So we didn't uh, ask that you join us. It is not a live service, so if you, you know, you're not get home till later in the day, you can watch it later in the day. You can watch it two days from now. Uh, but we want to encourage you to, to tune into chapel. I asked Leah this morning, I said, Leah, what verse of scripture are we going to share with the people? And she said, Daddy, we have to share John 3.16. And I said, all right, let's do John 3.16. So she's going to read John 3.16. And then I told her, I said, we need to read John 17 too. 3.16 and 17, because that is the crux of the gospel. Here we go, right here. For God to let the world that he gave his only be only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life for god did not send his son into the world to the bit to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him very good he did not send his son to condemn but to save and that is the crux of the gospel yes we serve a god that is full of grace and love and truth and mercy um never um lose the focus of John 3 16 that God so loved the world that he made a way for sinful people like us not to condemn us but to give mm -hmm. us life and yes there is wrath on the other side of the gospel most folks don't like to talk about that but the question I get hung up on especially at Easter is why would God save a sinful person like me and it's only because of his love and so I pray um, students and uh, faculty and parents alike that we would look up to the Lord during this Easter season and focus on his goodness, his love, and his grace that he died on a cross. He rose from the grave victoriously so that we might have life through him. Praying for you all. Enjoy your break. And we look forward to seeing you back with us in a few mm -hmm. short days or weeks however long this thing is what what is this like a whole week yeah. off of school man that's awesome so enjoy your time with your people we will see you later